language guys, language, it's not that simple. So I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shinityananda Paramashivam. As you guys know, I am making various videos a day and uh, so naturally speaking is a big thing. So I wanted to share something that Swamiji shared, something that clicked with me and, and how it clicked with me regarding language. Actually, language, the languages available today, other than perhaps Sanskrit and Old Tamil, not the recent Tamil, but the old one. Um, other than these two, languages are not meant to express ideas from uh, multidimensional logics, Sankhya, or ideas of the space of enlightenment or the space of Paramashivoham. Why is that? What I clicked is that, see the problem is, these languages are made by humans who cognize themselves as humans. So they do not have the space of Paramashivoham and, and they cognize themselves as a body, a mind, and as a human, what we consider a human. So the problem is that if a language is made by a human, it will be made from someone who is in the space of human. So it will be best, it will be established or um, crafted in the way to express, to best express what the space of being human is. But that becomes an obstacle when you seek enlightenment because enlightenment and being human is two different things. And that's where it becomes very difficult to express um, ideas or even not, not only ideas but um, cognitions that lead to the space of enlightenment in languages other than the ancient Tamil and the Sanskrit. Uh, because the languages are not created to express such inner space. And that is why I feel, you know, sometimes you have to check the words you use and all that. And, and, um, and it's a big thing. And that's also a good reason why the Gurukul and the Sanatana Dharma lifestyle has to be revived um, in a big scale. Because in the Sanatana Dharma uh, lifestyle and in the Gurukul's uh, students were taught Sanskrit. When you learn Sanskrit, you learn how to operate from a logic which is beyond duality. Normal languages, they operate from the space of human, like I mentioned. And by that I mean the space of duality. Me and separate and interaction between two things which are considered separate. But that is not the space of oneness that you seek when you seek enlightenment. So that, that's, that's a problem. So everything we share, every word we use, every idea, the way we craft ideas, they're always crafted from the space of duality. So with that kind of language, how do you express enlightenment? It becomes an issue. Um, becomes an obstacle because, you know, automatically because of the words we use, we automatically, we already have associated these words to duality-based concepts or understandings. And what happens is that the moment we use a word, uh, moment Swamiji uses a word to describe the space of enlightenment then automatically we have the word or the word means that but that association is not allowing you to grasp what Swamiji is sharing that is why seeking and having devotion and um, prayerfulness to grasp the space from which Swamiji is sharing is very important because if you just listen to the words you won't get it you won't get it because, especially when he speaks in English, you won't get it because English is not meant to express the space of enlightenment. Of course, Swamiji is reinventing, you know, uh, words and he, he makes sure we understand the context from which he speaks. But for that, you know, we need to make sure we grasp the right context. So, um, so that's very important. That's very important to remember. Uh, when that's why seeking, that's why I put so much emphasis on seeking and that's why I cherish seeking so much and, uh, and the space of devotion because only in that space you can invoke something that is not known to you to reveal itself to you. And just yesterday Swamiji was talking the satsang, devotion is the 
is such it's the most powerful way to invoke Paramashiva. Because one issue that we face when we start to entertain logics is that logics are always, they have an end, they kind of, it's an enclosure of something. And the thing is that enlightenment has no end. So that is why until we enter into the space of jnana, which is enlightened knowledge, um, every logic will confine us. And to get out of this confinement, we need to cherish devotion or seeking. Because again, uh, like I said in some uh, previous videos, the Vedantic tradition, they have this, uh, this uh, technique which is na iti na iti, not this, not this, it means whatever your mind can grasp, Paramashiva is beyond that. And in the same way, when you have devotion, you, you, you just invoke something that is greater than what you can conceive, than what you can cognize. And when you constantly seek that, you constantly invoke that, you constantly yearn to have that, then it starts to reveal itself to you and manifest through you. Because deep down, that Paramashivoham experience is sitting in the depth of your being. But it needs to be, uh, you know, the detoxification has to happen in the way that all the life negative thought currents that we cherish and we feel associated to, they have to be uh, dismantled and discarded so that the self can, bring, can be brought back to the surface. And that is why Guru is so important. So I wanted to share this again in the same line that, you know, sometimes we feel like we don't understand what Swamiji is saying and it's normal because the, not only the space from which he's speaking, we are not, uh, we forgot it, but the language itself is also creating an obstacle. So remembering this again, you know, having patience and strengthening our seeking, strengthening our devotion, our surrender, our prayerfulness um, so that we can grasp that space that is ultimately our true nature. So with this, I close this video. Um, if you have any questions, any comments, please write them below. I'm thanking you again for watching these videos and uh, listening to my sharings and the clicks and cognitions that I've been having since I have uh, started my uh, spiritual journey with Swamiji in 2014. So um, if you feel that these videos help, you know, sometimes you might have you people asking questions and all that and you feel that, oh, I, you know, some of these videos that I'm sharing can answer that. You can feel free to share um, the links of these videos. And uh, with this, I'll see you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Itiandam.